you may be sensitive to a food that you've never eaten because of cross reactions or through a process. It's kind of like molecular mimicry because what's happening is when you're sensitive to a food, the lab is using a dietary protein. Now, your antibodies to that dietary protein could be antibody to a specific strain of protein. So let's say chicken protein is this long of amino acid proteins. Protein structure is folded molecularly, like kind of like a ball of yarn. It's kind of like all tangled up and folded. But if you you take that yarn and you stretch it out, you'll see like these amino acids that's lined up in a sequence. And what you're usually reacting to is a sequence of amino acid, not the entire protein. You're reacting to a section of the protein. That's what your immune system is making antibody to. It's making antibody to a section of that protein, not the entire protein. So what happens is a section of that protein sometimes can look very similar to a section of protein on another food. That's the basis of molecular mimicry. That's the basis of cross-reaction.